I have the Isheen Micro Sky Hunter out here. I had contemplated putting a more powerful motor on it. And so I removed the stock motor and I put in one of the Beta FPV 2004 3000 kV motors. It uses a T-mount prop. And I have a gym fan 5x3 T-mount prop on it. I've just completed all the bench testing on this. And I'm going to be flying it as normal with a 3S LiPo. The stock motor was an 1804 2300 kV motor and it was spinning a 6x3 prop. It's going to be uh, more, e the stock motor will be more efficient than this one, but this one's going to produce a lot more power with that 5x3 prop. And so um, I'm going to set my timer for four minutes to begin with until I can calculate how much flight time I'm going to be able to get with it. But based on the weight of the Isheen uh, Micro Sky Hunter here and the amount of power this produces with that prop on the 3S LiPo, I should have around a 1.84 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. Just estimating on how it, it flew with the stock power system and um, how much power it had, I would say it probably, with the stock, probably had somewhere around a 1.3 to 1.4 to 1 thrust to weight ratio should, should, should have significantly more power with this motor. This motor was provided to Ground Control RC by Beta FPV. I want to thank them for sending this motor for review. So let's see if we can get it in the air. When in doubt, go with 60% throttle. That's my philosophy. <laughs> so I did. Oh yeah, it definitely has more power, guys. <laughs> now this motor is also rated for 4S, and I did do some, I did 2S, 3S, and 4S bench testing with it it is a strong little motor I am really impressed with these little 2004 motors they're so tiny you know does that without effort guys it's been a while since I have flown the micro sky hunter Nice. This is one of those planes that just flies really well right out of the box. Didn't have to make any modifications to it. I think this motor is going to be a winner on this plane, guys. Back off the throttle a little bit. Isn't that nice? I wish, I kind of wish Yixing would bring this back, this airframe back, and make it a little bit smaller, make it sub 250 gram. I think that would be a huge hit. <laughs> it definitely has power now. Pretty fast, pretty fast with that motor on it. All right, I'm gonna walk out here toward the road. I'm starting to get my haptic.
tons of power now. At 1.84 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, it should have unlimited vertical. Alright, we got we have got lots of company out here today. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to see if I can land on this dirt lane. I hate to, it's really bumpy. Yeah. Really bumpy. Okay. So I am very impressed with these little motors. And um, they sent me four of them. So I think that I might be putting one of these on my micro park jet just to test it out. The DIY F22 Micro V2. Because I think... It's, it's even lighter. It's much, much lighter than the Micro Sky Hunter. And it has unlimited vertical right now, but I think with this motor, <laughs> uh, it, 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 will be a, it will be even more of a beast, I think. Um, I'll have to go back and look at my um, thrust data. But, uh, yeah, I think that might work out really well. So I will see you back at the hangar and I'll go over the specs on this motor. I'll give you some information on the thrust data and why I chose this particular prop on the 3S. I'll see you back there. I always have fun whenever I take the Sky Hunter out. And I absolutely love this airframe and this plane. But I love it even more now that I've got that Beta FPV 2004 3000 KV motor on it. And I misspoke in the video that it's not a gym fan prop. It is an HQ 5x3 T-mount two-blade prop. Uh, the motors, let me give you some specs on the motors. It is an open bottom motor. The whole spacing from you know top to bottom hole is 12 millimeters. It uses M2 screws, two millimeter screws. The, uh, the center shaft, of course, is for T-mount props, and the center shaft is 1.5 millimeter. I think they said it is the, the length of the center shaft is 3.8 millimeters. The motor weighs 16.6 grams. The last time I checked, the price of a single motor was $19.99. So for the quality of the motor, the amount of power it produces and the efficiency with that prop on there, that is a pretty darn good price for this little tiny motor. If you buy a pack of four of them, then it's less per motor. Pretty good discount on a pack of four of them. Okay, so it comes in 3,000 kV and 1,700 kV. The 3,000 kV are rated for up to a 4S LiPo, and the 1,700 kV are rated for up to a 6S LiPo. The, uh, the wire leads, the motor leads on it are 100 millimeter long and it's 24 AWG gauge wire. I did put two millimeter bullets on mine. I'm not going to push this past oh, 30, 32 amps. So uh, the two, mil two, millimeter, two millimeter bullets with that length of wire should be able to handle that amount of amps just fine. I was looking at their specs on the motor and the prop that they used in their thrust test was a Jim Fan 5125 three blade prop. Now I use two blade props because I try to find a balance between power and efficiency and two blade props are more efficient than three blade props. But in their prop test, excuse me, in their thrust testing, they used the Jim Fan 5125 three blade prop. Okay, so their voltage was 16 volts. The thrust that it produced was 1,086 grams, and it was pulling 31.61 amps to do that. That's pretty phenomenal. Um, that's an efficiency of a gram per watt at 2.14. So for a tiny motor like that to produce over a kilogram of thrust pulling less than 32 amps, 
is pretty darn good. Now, I wanted to go over uh, some of the numbers that I was fairly happy with and impressed with on 2S, 3S, and 4S LiPos. So on a 2S, because I'm also interested in using this on a, uh, a DIY micro bush plane. Um, so that might also work very well on a 2S LiPo. So with, the, with an HQ, with this HQ5030 prop and that motor on a 2S LiPo, it was producing 342 grams of thrust. That's pretty impressive. Pulling 10.66 amps, 203 grams of thrust at 50% throttle, and pulling 5.71 amps. Um, that is a ton of thrust on a 2S LiPo. <coughs> With a 5126 two blade gym fan prop, 371 grams of thrust, pulling 11.77 amps at full throttle. 208 at 50% throttle, uh, pulling 5.7 amps. All those are really, really impressive. If the if the microplane is really, really lightweight, you know, no more than 100, and, say 120, 125 grams, the Jump Fan Hurricane 4024 two blade prop produce, it produced 187 grams at 100% throttle, pulling only 5.67 amps 129 at 50% throttle pulling only 3.75 so uh, if I can make a DIY plane wide enough the 4024 would give it outstanding power and long flight times so I was pretty impressed with it on 2S, 3S and 4S light bulbs. now the reason I chose the prop that I did on 3S and you got a significant increase in thrust when you went from a four inch to a five inch prop. But on the 5032 blade prop, produced 624 grams of thrust at full throttle, pulling 18.78 amps, 357 grams of thrust, or uh, grams, yeah, grams of thrust at 50% throttle, and pulling 8.94 amps so these props that I tested they're not only not only do they produce a sufficient a, a, a really a good amount of thrust at 100 percent throttle but unlike a lot of props that I've tested in the past they don't really fall off you know at 50 percent throttle at 50 percent throttle you're still getting over half well over half of the thrust that you're getting at, uh, at full throttle and that's typically not the case that I see for a lot of props. Usually if they're if they're tuned for high RPM they typically really fall off at 50% throttle but these props are not doing that. That's another reason that I chose that prop is it has really good thrust at 50% throttle as well. Now the 5126 um, two blade prop. It produced the same amount of thrust, 624 grams of thrust, but it pulled slightly more amps, 20.19 at full throttle. It produced a, a little more thrust at 50% throttle, uh, 3.66 grams, but it was pulling 9.6. So, so I get slightly less uh, thrust at 50% throttle with the prop that I chose, but I get the, <coughs> excuse me, I get the same amount of thrust at 100% throttle, and it's more efficient than the 5126, which is why I chose the 5030 prop. So I just want to let you know that. That was on 3S. On 4S, and this was amazing, with the two blade prop, and this is why I think that their thrust numbers that they have published are accurate for this motor, because they're using a three blade, a slightly larger three blade prop. Uh, the 5030 prop on a 4S produced 912 grams of thrust, pulling 25.84 amps. At 50%, it was pulling, it was producing 477 grams of thrust, pulling 11.63. Uh, the the um, 5126 prop 
actually provided a couple of grams less, 910 grams at full throttle, pulling 28 amps, 464 at 50% throttle, which is a little bit less than the 5030, pulling 11.7 amps. So even on a 4S with this motor, I would pick this 5030 crop. I would pick, <coughs> I would choose either the 5030 or the 4024 two blade crops on a 2S. I would choose this HQ5030 prop on 3S and 4S as my preferred prop of the four props that I tested for it. And 912 grams of thrust from a 16.6 frame .6 motor is just absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> so there will be a link to these props. All the props that I used in the testing were still available except for the smallest prop I used which was the King Kong Eldark 3.8 by 3 prop. I could not find those anywhere which is an absolute shame because those are really good props. Uh, they produce a lot of thrust and they're very efficient, but apparently you can't get them anymore. Three, so three of the four props that I tested, I provided links for in the show notes. I provided links to this motor. I provided links to the um, uh, LiPo that I used, I believe is in there as well. So this motor is going, and the prop is going to stay on this Eshin Micro Sky Hunter because this, this aircraft now has unlimited vertical. And when I, when I, uh, I put a couple more uh, uh, flights on it, now we publish an additional flight on it with this motor. But I flew it for a little over five minutes, mixed mode flying, heavy in the throttle part of the time, cruising around part of the time. I still had over 3.9 volts per cell. So this power system is a heck of a lot more efficient than I thought it was going to be looking at the amp draw on the bench. That just tells me that it, you never know. You never know until you put it in the aircraft and fly it just how much more efficient it's going to be flying through the air than it is on the bench when you're holding that motor and prop in a static position. But, the way I fly, I'm going to get seven or eight minutes of flight time out of this plane at least. So, phenomenal amount of flight time, phenomenal amount of power, and with mixed mode flying on the 3S, the motor came down just warm. It wasn't hot at all. It was just warm. So, I'm very impressed with this motor. Stay tuned. I'm going to have another field test of this motor. I haven't decided yet what plane I'm going to put this in. But when I, take, when I take the next plane out with this motor in it, I want to test it on 4S light bone. So stay tuned for that. But so far, I am very impressed with these motors. I want to thank Beta FPV for sending them for review. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.